What's up, everyone? Hi, my name is Orion. I'm with Unpossible Game Labs, and today we're going to play Arc World. Today we're joined by the mysterious Just Zintus. I'm cool. here. <laughs> All right. um, and we're going to be playing Arc World. Arc World is a game with a lot of strategy and uh, tactics that you can learn uh, how to play. We're going to play two teams that are a little bit easier to pick up. Uh, that said, Zintus has played the game maybe like seven, eight, nine times. Somewhere in so, there, yeah. Uh, not a first time player, but still uh, learning the vast world of strategy that is Arc World. So maybe don't expect that you'll play at this level your very first time, you know, just so you understand where we are. Normally when you're playing a game, what you would do is you would go through either a drafting phase or you would use uh, some of the pre-selected teams in order to figure out who you're gonna play. In this particular situation, what we decided to do was pre-select a couple of teams uh, just to get up and running and to show you some of the basic mechanics around the game. I'm gonna go through setup and then I'm gonna go through gameplay. Uh, we're gonna play a full game and then you are going to learn how we play Arc World. Yeah. So on my team, I have Hollow, Shadow, Titan, Eris, and Hex. And on Zintus' team, I have Alexander, Meta09, Anastasia, Rain, and Cerebus. Is, cool. it, is it Meta 9 or Meta 09? I think like Meta 09, because it's okay. Meta 01. That's fair, one. that's fair. So then the first thing that we're going to do is take our teams, and we have a couple of standard cards that we each get. The standard cards include your health tracker, four minions, and a tower card. Those without saying that at the moment, everything is still up in the air. These are not final components, so if you see things that don't have art or have unfinished art, uh, that would be why. Uh, five starting cards plus the health tracker. So, yep. just get that here. There's one difference between the two of those. If you can put your minions back out. Okay. We both have uh, four minions, um, one basic minion called an acolyte, uh, two range minions called sages, and a third um, powerful siege minion called a zealot. Um, but you'll notice that mine are blue and he is orange. I, mm -hmm. I am the blue team and Zintus is the orange team. Traditionally, the person who is on the blue team is the person who maybe kind of knows the game a little bit better and will be taking the first move and the orange team will usually get the second choice. Each player is going to take their four minions and a tower card, mm -hmm. one health tracker card, mm -hmm. and their five heroes. And then to that, we're gonna add our five ultimate cards. Ultimates are really powerful special abilities that you have to uh, draw out of your card deck. And you're going to take those and add them to the deck with uh, your two sages and your one zealot. And so all that gets shuffled into a deck. Okay. All right. Cool. Deck of cards. And then your deck will go to the right of your little play area there. Okay. Cool. In our starting hand, we're each going to have one Acolyte, our tower, and our five heroes. All right. Okay, so I put out a couple of uh, extra things here. Uh, what you'll see is that we have mana cubes here, which will be used to spend on our abilities, various tokens that will be used to mark various status effects. This is a jungle, uh, which we will hunt. We'll do the hunt phase at the very first phase in a moment. We have the gate here, which is kind of a tiebreaker. And then we just put little mana cubes on our tower to represent our health. Each player has uh, eight health before they die. And we start with three mana in our pool to spend. And other than the fact that you didn't see how we picked teams, that is the entire setup for the game. Uh, the way that the jungle is going to start is that we're going to shuffle up these jungle cards and we're going to flip three of them onto the table. The hunt starts with the uh, player who does not currently have control of the gate. Uh, as a blue player, I currently have control of the gate, so Zintis will do the first hunt. Zintis will play any number of cards from his hand that have uh, these little gold icons on them uh, into his hunt area, which is down here and he will use them to purchase cards to add to his hand and uh, as we play his deck. So the first purchase is on you. Okay. Um, I'm going to purchase this minion for three, I think. So I'll ditch this minion and... Hmm. And this goes into my hand again? Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. 
I'll do these three. So these are one coin a piece. It costs three coins. So now this card goes into my hand. These cards are going to get put into a personal discard. Which is your hunt card. Hunt card right over back. here. Got it. So now it's important to note, no matter how many, how much gold I pay, uh, one, I don't get change back, and two, I cannot purchase more than one card. So I can basically buy one card right now for two gold, and I will choose to purchase. It's a tough decision, because I always like, which one do, who do I want to keep around? Who do I want to use? I think I'm going to throw Hollow into the jungle uh, with three coins. Again, I don't get my um, any change back from that, but I'm going to pick up a a grub. And what's really cool about grubs is that they allow you to draw a card from your deck as you do so. Uh, if you remember from earlier, this deck is full of more powerful minions and really cool ultimate cards. So hopefully this will give me a good tool to use as we play the game. Uh, it goes back to Zintis where he has a chance to purchase the last card if he would like. I will pass on that one. I don't have enough money to do that. And so... I too will pass on that. So okay. thus ends the hunt phase. All right. Now we go into the positioning phase, and we have a handy uh, phase guide on the top of our card, uh, mm -hmm. so we can we can see where we are. And so currently we're on the positioning phase, where we are going to take five of the cards in our hand. Ah, I think he knows what's in my hand because it's all op open information anyway. We're going to take five of the cards in our hand and lay them out in a row, uh, face down, and then reveal, and then be surprised. Surprised. Mm -hmm. Very surprised. Please. All right. All right, that's my team. I don't know. I don't like how sure of yourself you are right now. You feel pretty good about this team. I don't like that. I mean, I played this game eight times, Ryan. I also kind of made that team for you. <laughs> so your sure. your confidence, <laughs> you know something I don't apparently. Hmm. 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 Okay, so a note, hopefully this isn't too cramped, but we thought it would be easier uh, and more enjoyable to watch if we did a side-by-side -side, as opposed to a versus-by-versus -versus where you can't really see the details of what's going on. So I think we'll make do though. Yep. All right, so now that we've done our positioning, we reveal. All right, let's see what you got. Cool. Okay. So just to go over a couple of concepts really quickly, uh, basically the outer edges of your board are called your flanks. A character is uh, uh, remains a flank card until he has tapped or engaged, since we can't use that word anymore, uh, taken damage equal to their health or been stunned, at which point you can bypass this character and now both these characters become flanks. This is important because melee attacks can only attack the two flank characters. Uh, range attacks and special abilities can attack anywhere on your opponent's line. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is resolve any passives that show when the character's revealed and add any armor to characters with armor tokens. Mm -hmm. He has two armor tokens, so Titan and Rain yep. get their armor. Here. Uh, both of our individual minions have a reveal ability, but uh, they both play off of other minions, so neither of those go through. And finally, Alexander has a reveal uh, that gives plus two dominance to one of his... True. One of true. his allies. That's got to be an adjacent hero, right? No, it does not. Oh, any. Oh, okay. Any. Uh, sure. Let's call it, I guess, one basket. Uh, it does have to be a hero, though. Hero. Okay. Uh, sure. There we go. Cool. Uh, and now, because I have the gate, uh, I must go first. Uh, play is going to proceed with us each taking two actions each, uh, except for the very first turn, where the first player only takes one action. So I will get one action where my choices are to either move one of my characters, reposition them in my line, uh, attack with them by turning them, and then dealing their attack damage to somebody on his line, use an ability on the character, or play an ultimate card uh, of a character who is on the board who is you know, also ready and available to use their abilities. Cool, so as my first action, let us just get into it. And we'll use Dark Aura Blade, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to do an ambush for two. Ambushes are unique in that because they're uh, an ability-based source of damage, they can ignore the flanks and go wherever they want. Uh, and they also let you do damage without turning the character, which means that you can kind of squeeze a little bit more damage out of them. 
Um, I am going to do two damage to... Ah, doing two damage to your minion is pretty tempting mm -hmm. and probably just the right answer. I'm going to do two damage to your minion. And then uh, this one allows you to do critical rolls on a five, uh, five, five, four, three, and two. Uh, Arc World uses a unique system where the you roll a single dice for all your crits, and for each number that you roll equal to or less than, you get one critical. So if I roll a five, I only get one critical, because five is equal to five. Uh, but if I roll a two, I'll get a critical for the five, the four, the three, and the two, which is four damage. So she can do a lot of damage uh, for a reasonably small amount of mana. Um, but I only have one more mana left in my pool. But it is worth it. So mm -hmm. I'm now going to roll yep. against Six. that guy. Six. Uh, yeah, so fun fact, Eris fails me every single game. Six. Nope, three. Three. OK. Uh, so five, four, three. Three damage. Three more damage. Cool. Five damage? Five damage. God. OK. She's, she's a damage character. That's literally all, right. all she does. OK. <laughs> That's her raison d'etre. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. And that's my one action. Got it. Uh, so that character, I could save it. You could. If I could transfer everything. So an important thing to note is that heroes determine whether or not you get the gate and therefore take priority mm -hmm. uh, and draw extra cards. But minions do tower damage, which is life in the game. So right now, uh, Zintis Sans Lu is a character who's going to do two tower damage, yeah. uh, which is a pretty good start. Not my favorite. Um, sure. So let's activate the tower. Mm -hmm. So it costs zero. So we're just going to put a cube from the pool to signify that it's been used. And we're going to move three damage from there to here. Uh, and we're also going to activate rain, which does cost a mana to use, which is also going to guard. And I'm going to move the, ra the rest of the damage onto here. And that's going to remove one of the armors, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. And the armor will reduce the damage by one. Yep. All right, so uh, that's my turn because he went first. He got one action. Now I had two actions because we're in the game proper. So it's back yep. to you. Back to me with two actions. Okay. Um, now that we're in the, the midst of the game, I have the choice of either taking my two actions or conceding the round. If I concede, I both do not get the gate and do not do tower damage. Um, but I am clearly not in a situation where I need to concede. So I will attack with something. Oh, okay, so this should be fun. Uh, Shadow does four melee damage. And the important thing about melee damage is that a character who is not on the flank can still attack, but they can only attack the two flank characters. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go for your damage character because I don't want to do, I don't want you to do to me what I did to you. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one action. And the second action that we're going to go with is we're going to be doing two damage with the Acolyte here. Mm -hmm. And we'll do it on Alexander on the end. All right. So the Acolyte will still deal tower damage, even though you've exhausted it, right? Correct. OK. Um, so what are my options here with Cerebus, now that he's taken uh, uh, lethal damage? Uh, he can still, so a character that's taken lethal damage may still use their abilities, but they, mm -hmm. may, not, uh, they may not rotate to attack. OK. Um, so my ability. Could could life steal one, but mm -hmm. that's not going to put Cerberus. It'll Cerberus will still be going down, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's no way for me to attack with Cerberus with my current board state. Correct. Okay. You can still do that one damage to uh, mm -hmm. if you if you feel like it's worth it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, let's see. So you have that. You have him. Um. I think we're just going to activate. Alexander, which is going to give me plus one armor and attack damage plus one. And do I ambush? That's the question. Um, you have seven and three, four, five. Nope. I think that. Oh, yeah, because I can also attack with a minion. Uh, I want to keep my options open with Alexander. So. And also rain, so I want to try to hold on to him for as long as possible. Server's going down, so we're going to attack with the minion. We will attack uh, Titan over here because I think it'd be too much trouble to get through his tower to try to hurt Hain. Whereas Titan is uh, as a fair target to have out of the game, so it'll be three damage, um, and that will just put one 
damage there after the two armor have been removed. Yep. And so yeah, I activated Alex. I did that, and it's on you. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, uh, Cerberus yep. uh, now dies. Mm -hmm. He goes into the uh, eliminated spot. Yep. Into the nexus. Uh, that's that. Oh, over sure. here. My bad. Uh, and then for eliminating him, I gain one mana. Um, cool, 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 cool. I'm not loving my options. Um, okay, so I have one attack left. So the thing I, would, I don't want to do is I don't want to attack with Titan, because once I do, I lose the ability to use his, his abilities. Um, so I want to keep him available so he can guard damage off of the Acolyte, similar to the way that Rain did earlier in the round. Uh, so instead, what I'm going to do is take Eris and do her uh, actual attack, which only does one damage, which we're going to deal here to Alexander. Okay. Uh, that's going to pop off his armor. Truth. And then uh, you get to roll the critical uh, on uh, that the character has. Mm -hmm. Almost every character in the game um, has a critical attack, uh, a critical damage that they can do in addition to their attack damage. Uh, for Eris, that value is three or less. So I have a 50% chance of doing damage. Nice. You got it. Eris has not been failing me. So one I'm more damage. Flip that. Sure. Because the game's fancy like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. It's like you planned this out. Features. Features. <laughs> uh, so that is actually only one action, but uh, there's not another action that I really like, so I'm going to pass my second action. Okay. So... Uh, he's still alive. Rain's still doing good. I think what I'm going to do is attack his Titan with both of these characters and then hope that I deal enough damage to to knock him out. So sure, let's do that. So let's start with Alexander. So that's going to be two damage, and then I'm going to roll a crit on four lower. And plus one for your... Oh ah, yeah, and plus one. So it's going to be three, base. four damage to Titan. Four damage? Yeah. Okay. And so Titan has five health. He has a lot of armor. And decent amount of health, but five is enough to actually put him in critical condition. Yeah, so it looks like so guard only uh, brings damage over from a neighbor, and stun does something else. So, um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, no, I think I'm good here. I'm just gonna. That's enough. Cool. Uh, the position that I am in right now is that a character who is uh, wounded like this, we call this wounded, cannot tap to attack, uh, cannot move, uh, but can use the abilities. Uh, right now, the ability to move damage over isn't useful to me. The ability to stun somebody for one turn, um, that's not really useful to me. So at the moment, it looks like you have taken my tank out. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will take no actions and pass my turn. Zuntis will gain a mana for that. Okay, cool. Titan is now eliminated mm -hmm. and is back to uh, back to Zintis. All right. If Zintis chooses to pass, then the round will be over and we'll evaluate from here. Um, if Zintis chooses not to pass, then uh, then he's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I will not pass. So I'm going to use Rain to attack your minion, which is only for one, but it might be two. Let's find out. So that was a five. That's not good. So just one damage to your minion. Just one. And that's just, it for me. Just all of my minion's health. Yes. Just every point of health that my minion had in life. Mm -hmm. uh, cool, 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 cool. All right. It's not cool, so, Ryan. It's not cool. <laughs> I use that word incorrectly. I don't know what that word means. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to have to let this go. Again, uh, in this situation, this minion can't move over there. I probably should have repositioned it earlier. Uh, but I didn't. And I forgot. And so Acolyte is dead. Gain your mana. Yes. A unique attribute of minions and ultimates is that instead of being discarded to a discard pile, they actually just go to the bottom of your deck, and this becomes a respawn timer. So the faster you go through these cards, the more you cycle through the things that you kind of want. Um, and so it's going to be a little while before I see that little guy again. So cool. Uh, I'll pass my turn. All right, uh, I think I'm out of stuff to do, so I pass as well. So right. that's the round. That's the round.
Okay. So now we've done, we finished the play round and we go into resolution. The first thing that we do on resolution is we add the numbers in the upper right hand corner of all the cards, which is your dominance value. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I am rocking a 16. Okay, so that's 15, 23, 24, 25. Cool. So, so Zintus takes the gate. And with that, he draws a card from his deck. Yes. Now, the person who has gate deals their tower damage first, uh, which will be two, da two damage. Uh, okay. This two comes off, like here. Uh, because my minion was lost, I deal no tower damage back. And now we both gain mana equal to the number of symbols showing on our card. Yep. Zintus has one, mm -hmm. I have three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally, Anything, anything with mana, any damage, any cards are discarded and go back to your hand. All right. Anything in your hunt section also goes back into your hand. Hunt, hunt. Yep, you're right. And then anything you're eliminated now goes into respawn. So they're going to have to sit out around, but the round after that, they'll be available. Finally, we both draw one additional card mm -hmm. and we go into the next play phase. All right. Now we select another another line of five cards, correct? Oh, no, we no, have to do the hunt. Uh, hunts first. Does that come out right away? Oh, uh, yes. OK, so three of these cards come out. We have a Grub, we have a Fanatic, and we have a, another Fanatic. Very fanatical. Mm -hmm. And let's see, so the this is going to start with you? Yep. OK. So I am going to take. Shadow, Hex, and Grub into the jungle. Uh, you'll notice that the Grub is the card that I drew last turn, and I will use that to draw a Fanatic this turn. Best practice might be to uh, put them over to the side until the hunt phase is done, just so you don't accidentally try to reuse them to purchase new cards. Question is, do I want to buy this minion? Because it's going to get me another two tower damage if I get it to, to go through. So, but... To get that minion, I have to discard a bunch of other good cards to do it. So I'm not sure if I want to be the one doing that. Let's see. So if I discard these three cards, then my board is going to be so many minions. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't buy it, I don't think. Um, so if my turn is that, plus that, and those... One, two, three, four. Yeah, I won't be able to buy anything. So, it'll be on you, Ryan. Cool. Uh, I think I dare it. All right. Eris is going to the jungle. And she's going to buy the second fanatic. All right. And I assume that you still can't buy anything. Nope. So, pass, pass. On to our lineup. Yep. I think it's going there. And then this goes here, and this goes there. Um, hmm. Let's put this here, and this here. All right. Ready to go? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Yeah. All right. You should know by now, I immediately regret all of my decisions in this game, like, <laughs> as soon as I make them. <laughs> all right. Wow, that's a lot of minions. No. Wait. No, they're fine. They're it's fine? Cool. It's cool. It's cool? I'm so just going to take... Here. Will I lose this turn? No, I, I can survive that. Well, I mean, hopefully you'll kill something. <laughs> but if I don't, <laughs> take seven tower damage. That's You're almost fine. the whole game. It's cool. It's cool. All right. I, I believe so. in you. All right. Um, okay, so uh, the first thing that happens is uh, passives that happen on reveal. Uh, these, so an important note is that all minions have an ability called minion wave. And minion wave means that if other things with minion wave are played, then each thing with minion wave gains one armor. Mm -hmm. So uh, Alexander's going to have the same dominance plus. So I'm going to buff Al uh, Anastasia. Anastasia. And I think that's the only one. Rain gets his armor. Rain does get his armor, you're right. Yep. Okay. Cool. And you are the first player, so you get one singular action. One little attack. Um, I think I'm just going to buff up Alexander to start, and we'll see what happens after that. So I do that, plus one damage, plus one armor, and it's on you. That's pretty good. That's a, a good choice, good choice, good choice. 
Whoa. Okay. Um. These two guys do three damage each, so I think I'm just gonna come out swinging. Uh, starting with three damage, the first one being soaked by armor. Mm -hmm. That drops two down. Yep. One, two. Okay. And then the second one, also three damage. Again, minions uh, generally don't do critical damage, so it is just the number as printed on the card. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. All right. So what else can you do? You can attack for two, and you can attack for three. Cool. And you get plus one attack damage over here. Yep. And you can ambush one. So I'm looking at another, like, five, seven damage somewhere across my stuff. Um, that's the hope. That's the hope. Let's see. But I could try to swing down hollow, and that might be a thing to do. All right, sure. We're going to send Alexander into hollow okay. and see what happens. That's a base of three damage plus your crit. Yep. So let's roll die and hope for the best. Come on, six. Four. Yes. Never fails. <laughs> All right. So that was really good for me, and that means that the rest that means I can uh, commit to healing rather than trying to like swing down. This is a hollow. cursed dice. Yep. This dice does not know the plight of its maker. So I'm also <laughs> going to use one of my ults. I'm going to use Anastasia's ult, Stimpak, and it's going to use two mana, and it's going to target ally heals two damage, so one two, and it's also going to gain one armor. So there, so Ryan's back in the game. Uh, this goes on the bottom mm -hmm. of the deck. Yep. And I think that's it for me. Those are my two actions. Who made this game? <laughs> Frick. Yeah, you're, you're, you're all minion strategies not looking so good right now. If you had a fifth minion, you might be looking a little better. <laughs> if only I had two more minions. <laughs> um... This is where his house of cards slowly crumbles over the not course of the next couple Not turns. necessarily, not necessarily, not <laughs> necessarily. Okay. Two mana. Ambush one, then stun the target. Okay. Ambush one. Okay. Then and stun stuns. the target. Ouch. Uh, and then attack for one, two. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Which is what Hollow does with his dying breath. Uh, as he Far fades into the slow abyss that is elimination. Fires off one pathetic arrow. Got it. It's a stunning arrow. It's stunning. Ryan's so amazed at how little damage it dealt. He just pauses for a moment. Stunning. stunning. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and you gain a mana for it. I got a mana because I beat up Hollow. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so Ryan's going to bite it. But So I got to do something about that. Rain. Thank you. Rain. Sorry. Wrong game. Wrong game. Wrong game. All right. So I want to activate Anastasia's healing ability. So uh, I guess I just activate it once, right? Yep. And pull that's a damage off there. Yep. And I could do it up to four times, right? Because yep. that's 4x. Yep. Up and I can to do twice it a turn. Twice a turn. Yep. Got it. All right. So that seems good. She can heal herself as well. She cannot heal she herself. She cannot heal herself. So in this game, anything that affects allies does not uh, target the character themselves. Mm -hmm. So most healers cannot heal themselves. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so but things are looking up, looking pretty good. So I'm going to attack with my minion to your minion for three, and that's going to be the whole thing. So the one, whole enchilada. two. Cool. So I healed, I attacked, and it's your turn. All right. Cool. Um, I pass. Pass. All right. I beat up Take another minion. Your mana. I get another mana. And now we're going to attack just with, we'll attack with, I guess, with rain to, so this is a three. That's one. Yeah. So, and I'll roll to see if I get my crit four or less. Yep. Got it. This is a very lucky die, Ryan. I don't know what you're talking I know. about. I know. It's, that's my problem with it. And I will attack <laughs> one more and see if I can roll myself another damage. Uh, yep. Two more? Uh, yeah. Two more damage. Okay. Um, Wait, he couldn't do that. How long is he stunned for? Oh, he's stunned until the end of the turn. Sorry, we just forgot to move the yeah, token. Yeah, we forgot to remove the token. So okay, the stun good. comes into play and stuns the character for one turn, but that was one turn ago. We just forgot to remove it. Yep. 
All right, so dealt a total of three, and yep. I think that's it. So it's going to be a new. Boom. Another one of these. Boom, bam, boom. Pass yep. again. Uh, and then I think I've run out of actions, so I will pass as well. Ha! Ah, who's laughing now at I my know. strategy? Uh-huh. Because you take three damage. Yep, so I'm going to take three. Well, sorry, let's go in order. Sure. Uh, so Gate goes to Zintus. He draws a card. Okay. Cool. Uh, then he deals his tower damage, which is two. Yep. And now I deal my tower damage, which is three. Yep. And I get this mana? Um, so uh, just kind of like a note of, of, of uh, stepping. Uh, the damage that comes off, then there's a mana phase where you get all of this. Mm -hmm. You can kind of effectively take it off immediately. But the, what's actually happening is you're taking it off and then getting it. We'll do mana. this properly. We'll do this properly. Yep. Okay. And so now for every one of these, three, four, five. I yep. gain five mana. Uh, I only get four. One, two, three, four. Uh, clean up, start picking everything back up. Mm -hmm. Everything here, in our jungle, there. in our hunt area, and our respawn area comes back to our hand. Mm -hmm. And then our poor, lonely uh, damage character goes back down there. All right, that was a clean round for me. It is. I get my service back? Yep. Cool. And we're pretty, are we close? Close? What do you have? You have five? Four to five. Four okay. to five, yeah. It's Four perfectly five. even. It's close. Perfectly even. It's close. Uh, we both draw a card. Uh, yeah, we both draw a card. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's see what I can do with this team. We'll start with the hunt. Truth, truth. So we'll put out three cards. I know, we'll I know that you're anti-minion. I am very anti-minion. Some of us like our minions. All right. And it starts with you again? It starts with me again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I get five points of hunting. That is a very tough decision. It's a very tough decision indeed. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I actually have to think about this. <laughs> okay, I think I'm actually just going to do Shadow and my Grub again, and I'm going to pull a measly new grub, which lets me draw a card. Good. Hmm. Um, let's see. So the Minotaur seems pretty good. No. Pretty good. Yeah, no, those cards are scrubs. You don't want them. Scrub cards? Don't scrub want them? Cards. Hmm. Um, but I don't know if I can afford him because I've been doing pretty well with not buying that much stuff so far and then having more heroes on the board. So not sure if I just want to keep that up or not. So let's see what my hand's going to look like. It'll be like that with some of this. And do I have space for one more minion in my attack? I'm not sure. Well, I might just have enough heroes laying around that I can, I can afford one of those. Um, and they're five, so this is, let's see, one, two, three, plus Cerebus. Um, hmm. And I'm, I'm opening up this round, right? Yep. Yeah, so I'm going first. Uh, attack one. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to pass. I think I'm not going to buy anything. All right. Pass as well. All right. So these guys go away. And now we pick out our lineup. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, sure, we'll do this. And that. There. And... Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. All right. We'll put this like that. All right. Cool. Ready? Uh. Yep. So I got rain on the side. Service on the side. Got some minions in the middle. Cool. Cool. Um. All right. First action is on you. Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. 
guess I just get in there with my minions, I think. Uh, does this minion have uh, armor too? Yeah. You are correct. All right. She has an armor. How does she have an armor? Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> she, <laughs> I'm just a minion now. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So this move is very important. Very important. Nah. So important. Nah. Um, hmm. So stun two means you stun two you, characters. Two different characters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Build two to an allied unit. Okay. Uh, hmm. And minions cannot crit. They cannot crit. Ambush two. Okay. I'm going to. Hmm. Stun too fast, reposition and heal two to an allied unit. Well, that's annoying. Um, all right, I'm going to attack Eris with my minion for two. Mm -hmm. So just straight up two. Cool. And I think that's it for my first first opener. All right. That's on you. Uh, cool. Then I am going to do uh, one. Okay, so uh, Life Tether on Hex allows her to reposition and heal two damage on an ally unit, and that ability is fast, so it doesn't count as one of my actions. So I'm going to take her, and I'm going to put her out here, actually. Then I'm going to spend Trace Mana to... Uh, out uh, Titan Sentinel Ultimate, which says while Titan is ready, none of your other heroes may be targeted by attacks this round. Uh, an important note is that things like ambush uh, are not attacks, it's just the turning the character to do the attack is the only thing that counts. None of your other heroes may be targeted by attacks this round. This whole round. Okay. Yeah, as long as he's as long as he's there on guard. Ugh, okay. Uh, and then finally, uh, my final second real action. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use uh, Eris's. I'm going to use Soul Banish, which uh, does Ambush 3, uh, ignores Vision, which none of your characters have, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, deals an additional two critical damage if target is engaged. Um, Eris gains hidden until activated again. Okay. So I think that three damage. That's this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that it? No, his isn't the other, the other side. side. Oh, okay. The red one's vision. The slash sure. vision. Uh, so that three damage is going to go on to. Uh, let's put on Anastasia. Okay. Huh. So now your attacks. Yep. Must direct to Titan. Must direct to Titan. Um. Hmm. So, and she's going to go. Uh, and an ally is not herself, as we talked about Correct. before. Because um, that would be pretty OP if healers could just heal themselves. So, but I could move Rain, right? Yes, you can move Rain. But I can't move her. Correct. Okay, so I'm going to move Rain here. And Rain's gonna guard Anastasia for three. So he's gonna take lose his armor and take two damage. All right. And that's gonna cost you one mana. Yes. Okay, so he is guarded, but Anastasia's alive. Yep. Uh, so that was a move, and then I activate his ability, so it's on you again. Yep. Um Ready. He has to be ready for that. So he's not doing anything for a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't tap him uh, and still keep that open. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you're running out of mana. No. No? 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 no. All right. Sir, you're mistaken. 
Okay, um, I am going to use my stun two mm -hmm. to stun. Am I gonna do that? Okay, uh, let's have the minions attack. Okay. This is going to be a total of four damage. Mm -hmm. One's at range, so it can target anybody, and yep. then one's on flanks only. Uh, but I'm going to go both of them on flanks on to serve. Four to serve. Four to serve. Okay. Good. Um, so serve's going to die unless I play his ultimate. Uh, so that costs three, and it's going to get plus two attack, and you don't have one of those on the side here. Nope. Um, it's going to heal two damage. You just do two plus two dominance. He just gets oh, two of those two tokens. plus two dominance. Got yeah. it. So two of these. So I have a lot of dominance. Uh, so yeah, I got plus two attack. I heal two damage and I gain plus four dominance. So serves back in business. Okay. This goes back on the bottom, right? Yep. Okay. And um, so I have to attack Titan if I'm going to attack. Yep. Um, let's see. But is that what I do? That's the question. So you still have a one attack and a one attack and range. And if I attack with Serb, then that opens up this minion to get attacked, which is not my favorite. Um. So I'm, oh, and I have to attack your Titan. Yep. Which is annoying. I hope so. Very <laughs> annoying. Um, let's see. So one. Two, stun two. So I could just KO Titan. It's possible. I have a chance of KOing Titan. There's a chance. There's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. I'm telling you there's a chance. Um, but then my Sage opens up, but I can heal it. All right, sure. Let's. We've been lucky so far. We'll keep getting lucky. So you're doing four damage base. Uh, four damage base plus two for my ult, so six. And then I'm gonna roll and try to hit seven. Let's do it. Nope. How how good for you? Unfortunate. <laughs> Titan just like no. Uh, so he's no. taken he's taken six. So you minus two. Yeah, four. Yeah. Okay, cool. And it's on you. Right. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, was that two actions? How do you? Yeah. So I played the ult and then I attacked. Right. 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 Okay. Um. Oh, I should have just ambushed. Ah, that's okay. Too late. Too late. Stay levy. Case of Astra. Titan getting in there? Uh, he probably should. Pretty soon. Like. Okay. Um, we'll do this. Titan will do one damage here. Mm hmm. Smack. With the crit on a two or less. Six. Yes. He's very close. I was, that was very ambitious for him. And then a stun two on uh, Anastasia and Minion. Ah, uh, okay. So Cerberus looks like he's going to bite it because I can't activate his ability. Yeah. So the first thing to note is mm -hmm. that the this is the first time that we've seen a stun out here. And so because Anastasia is stunned basically for one round, uh, she won't be able to be activated. Yeah, so that's just very bad timing because Cerberus is going to bite it. That's very good timing. Terrible timing. That's amazing timing. The worst timing I've ever seen. Um, so what else can I do? So if I attack with Rain, I could get in there and perhaps damage down the minion. Or I could try to stun Eris so she can't attack back. Uh, Eris is hidden. Eris is hidden. Okay. Until she activates again. All right. So then that that reduces my options. Um, so I want to have enough mana to use Anastasia on the next round. So what do I do? Do I attack with rain? Is the question. Um. Anastasia is going. To, and Anastasia cannot heal herself. But you have two dudes, so I can't do anything about that. Okay. I think Rain is going to get in there for two on this minion. 
So we're going to roll and hopefully get there. Nope. Nope. Just one. Awful. All right. That's on you. <laughs> what do you mean? That dice is great. Yep. Uh, let's eliminate him. He's out. Uh, we'll pull a mana back to me. Mana, 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 mana. Eliminated. Uh, all right. Cool. 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 And then. We'll oh, yeah. These are, these are both gone. Okay. Um, let's have. We'll do one damage here. And so this will be one mm -hmm. and a crit on a three or less. Nope. Never. Never for Ryan. Never. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> Fine. Eris will come out of the shadows. Okay. Because I have to make you spend the mana. Like, I can't yeah. stop you, but I have to make you at yep. least lose the resource. Mm -hmm. Although, this is lethal. I don't think I can stop you from killing me. Oh, because I'm just going to heal up and you're out of, op out of options? Well, I mean, I have to stun one of your minions, too. Oh, but I can stun one of your minions. Well, it comes down to tower. So if you have tower, before, if you have more oh. minutes than me. I have 11, oh, which is I not. Might... Which is, you have 12. I have 12, so I'm going to do tower damage first. Sure. So it's kind of like the 11th hour right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do the one damage base there, and then a crit on a never. Never, never, ever, never, ever. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Uh, you can guarantee that if you back at the base level, you'll be getting one of these dice. But if you back at the supporter level, you're going to get <laughs> a dice that rolls all crits or no crits. Whatever you want. <laughs> your choice. <laughs> That's a lie, by the way. <laughs> all right. So you attacked once and twice? Uh, you attacked twice. I attacked twice. Okay. So all your dudes are, are used. Yep. Okay. The ladies made a very good effort All right, at the end. So I'm going to use Anastasia to activate her twice and heal two damage and keep my minion into play. Yeah. Uh, so that's my whole turn, but it goes back to you. And pass. Okay. Uh, then this minion is going to attack this minion for three. Yeah. Right? Just straight up three. So I think that's enough. I'll put two damage on it, and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, and okay. Anastasia will then attack... This minion and hope to get lucky. So, where's that die? I know, it's only one health. Oh, I already dealt the armor damage. Well, whatever. Armor I damage. want to see how lucky I am. I am very lucky. See? <laughs> see how lucky I am? All right, so that's going to deal two damage there. Yeah. And I think that's it for me. That's it. That's okay. game. So, so well, let's, walk, show, let's walk, through, walk through the whole thing. What's so, these two happen. minions bite these it. Two minions. Yep. I get two mana. Yep. And now we, uh, we evaluate who gets the gate. Mm -hmm. Which I think is me. I think I edged yeah. you out. So you have uh, 10, 12 dominance. So it's going to go to blue. Uh, and I would draw a card. Yep. Should that help? <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, so now I would deal my tower damage first, which is none. Because I then you all the would minions. deal yep. your tower damage, which, which is four. one, two, three, four. Which and is going to win me the game. That is right there the mark of death, the red skull of death. Yep. Well played. Well played. What he doesn't what he doesn't tell you is uh, I definitely won the last two or three games. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's fair. Um, but will the internet remember those games? No, the internet will forever will, remember this game because I just I just told you guys to remember it, and you guys are loyal, non possible <laughs> game labs. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that playthrough of uh, Arc World. Uh, I mean, you know, I I enjoyed it. Like, yeah, I you know. I was, <laughs> I have feelings about it. Uh, if you want more information, just look uh, around here on the Kickstarter page. If you're looking at this on Kickstarter, if you're looking at this on YouTube, then we will have the Kickstarter page linked. Uh, if this is way after the campaign, then we will probably have uh, buy pages, you know, pledge manager pages, all that kind of stuff linked uh, below. I think that wraps it up. Until next time, I've been Orion with Impossible Game Labs. And I've been Zintus. Peace. <laughs>